our topic part two your message no problem jesus bless this girl give her peace nafsi yako naifungua na upokea amani Lord bless us mama uwe na amani kiti sasa amen topic yetu na we had part 1 kwa ibada ya kwanza inaitwa point of rescue pahali ambapo pahali ambapo jehova getaka kuja tu eh aje tu aku odoe kwa mikono ya watesi akuondoe kwa makucha ya siba ungeuliwa lakini bwana sema au oh, hutaenda hivyo will rescue you haleluya pahali ulikojewa na ajali bwana tu malaika wanaowaka aseme huyu hatakufa point of rescue na wapendwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen i want to talk about it and then uh, nitawacha nitakibia na kuru now to make, in the first service we had dot point 1 2 3 4 uh, no, there, there were five but now we go to 61 in aitwa breakthrough with the voice of god jia moja inafanya nafsi ya mtu isiingie isiingie kwa hatari na ile hatari ilipangwa isifauru ni wewe kufauru katika uwezo wa kusikia bwana akikunenea moyoni why did i say moyo watu wengi utafuta sauti ya Mungu nje sauti ya Mungu hunena kwanza from inside why ni katika dani roho wa bwana nakaa na ndio mtakatifu kama mjui niwaambie tu let me introduce to how god speaks kama mjui mwenye huwa anaongea nasi ni holy spirit Mungu baba Mungu mwana hutuma holy ghost that's why tunapowaombea mjazo eh hatukwambii pokea Mungu baba jazo na Mungu baba jazo na Mungu mwana sasa so, sema receive the holy spirit ambaye ametumwa na Mungu baba na Mungu mwana aje ndani yako aongee kile wanasema that's how ukisoma John 16 verse 13 inasema hivi atakapokuja juu yenu roho wa kweli atawaongoza awaingize kwenye kweli yote verse 13 ha ha that is 16 verse 13 i'm reading it now atawaongoza awaingize kwenye kweli yote that's what the bible says haya awatie kwenye kweli yote kwa maana hata nena kwa shauri lake mwenyewe lakini yote atakayo yasikia atayanena can you imagine the holy ghost will listen to the father and speak to you so kuna watu wanaacha holy spirit wakatafute sauti ya bwana nje ya roho that's the mistake people are doing Umeenda kutembea kalio bank is you at mtu akwambie Mungu anasemaje right inside you kama utatulia na uobe sana una sauti Kwa ma Roma takatifu anaakirisha serikali ya biguni na kile kimenenwa atasikiza na atakwambia anakaa wapi roho bwana ndani yako Na kimoja kitafanya utolewe kwa mpango fulani ulikuwa kuagamize is breakthrough with the holy spirit's voice bwana yesu ainuliwe zaidi now let's check one of these things which voice ah uh, ukiangalia katika biblia kitu kimoja ambacho roho wa bwana atafanya ni kunena neno kuhusu hali yako ambalo ni la mwisho na hiyo hali lazima ifadilike 
au inamie kile roho bwana amesema kitabu cha mathayo 14 aya ya 28 matthew chapter 18 verse 28 inasema hivi matthew chapter 18 biblia nasema hivi I hope I'm going to verse 28. I hope thank you God bless you. akasema bwana ikiwa ni wewe that is 14 verse 28 madhayo ikiwa ni wewe niamuru nije kwako juu ya maji kitu kimoja watakiwa kujua ni kwamba jesus in time mara nyingi yesu anahudumu huamuru mambo na akiamuru 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 either uti au hayo mambo ya ti petro alizoea kuona yesu akiamuru pepo zina ti alizoea kuona yesu akiamuru kiwete kiwete anapata miguu anatembea alizoea kuona yesu akiamuru bubu waongee wanaongea alizoea kuona yesu akiamuru viziwi wasikia wanasikia This time yet Peter ameona Yesu atabea juu ya maji. Akasema Jesus I have seen you command things and they obey you. Kama ni wewe hakika unatabea juu ya maji. Nena neno la amri, nena neno la amri na uamuru hivi nitabea juu ya maji. Speak a command, just command because Jesus whenever you command things just obey. Hallelujah. Yes, I can be a it is me walk on water. Do you know kwani Peter hakugojea kuhubiriwa? Wewe leo ukitaka kuombea uponye sote kuhubiria Yesu anaponya, Yesu anainua. Peter hakugojea ahubiriwe diamini. All what people Peter wanted is a word of command. Peter hako na haja kuamini kitu kingine. Kama ameongea that's okay hakuna mambo ya kufikiria yeye akinena lazima lazima amuri ifanye kazi aka aka kanyaka maji na hana shida maji kawa inatia anatembea juu ya maji kitu kimoja you know Holy Ghost want to speak a word of command that you take over your family take over your business take over your situation a command a command a command Kristo hapembelezi dunia anaamuru dunia haya hamjui ha, hivyo Mungu alipokuwa akiumba dunia hakusema tafadhali dunia if you check the bible bible inasema in the beginning Mungu aliumba bingu na dunia amen ukiangalia sema hivi Mungu akasema na iwe nuru verse 3 Genesis 1 verse 3 na iwe nuru that's all What happened? Aliposema na iwe nuru ikawa nuru. Ah. Can you say after me? Mungu akasema iwe nuru. Ikawa nuru. Oh, praise. Ah, hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Verse 6. Mungu akasema na iwe anga katikati ya maji. Lika likayatege maji na maji na maji Mungu akalifanya anga Mungu akasema maji yaliyo chini ya mbingu yakusanyike you know ya lazima tu, tu we, lazima tujue how to walk with God who commands na Mungu ambaye hatauliza God had never has never asked Mira kwa kusema huyu atatembea kweli The God says walk 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 
Bwana Yesu aidurue sana. And I said to you by God's grace ni vizuri sana ujue uwe na breakthrough na Mungu ambaye anaamuru. Ukisoma Matthew chapter 8 verse 8. Mathayo 8 aya ya 8. Matthew 8 verse 8. Matthew 8 verse 8. Hebu tuanze verse 5. Hata alipoingia Capernaum Kinda monja alim, alimunjia. Haka msihi akisema. Bwana mutumishi wangu amerara nyumbani mgonjwa wakupooza na anaumwa sana. Verse 7. Yesu haka muambia. Nitakucha ni mponye. Yule akinda haka mjibu akasema. Bwana mimi sistahiri wewe uingie chini ya dali yangu. Lakini sema neno tu na mtumishi wangu atapona. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yesu verse 10. Yesu aliposikia haya alistaajabu akamwambia akawaambia wale waliomfuata amini nawaambia sijaona imani kubwa namna hii. Amen. Na mwisho wa Bible inasema kwamba a uh, Verse 30, nae Yesu akamwambia ule akida, nenda zako, na iwe kwako kama ulivyo amini, mutumishi wake, akapona saa ile ile. You must believe in Jesus who commands and things happen right there. He, my God, I bless your name. Hallelujah. Na, ni vizuri watu wa mungu wajue hivo. Jesus command. Because you know why Christ command dunia hii na laana zake na mapigo yake hazipeberezi na mungu lazwa ziti mungu alie ziumba mungu alie tukuka buwana aboni wa milele hallelujah now jambo lingine ambao litasfanya maishani mwako daima upate Jehovah anaokoa uhai wako anaokoa maisha yako Anaokoa biyashara yako Anaokoa doa yako Anaokoa watoto ulio za Anaokoa kazi ya mikono yako Is to keep his wish Katika Biblia You need to know how to keep the ways of God Ukiagalia kitabu cha Job Job chapter 1 verse 20 Biblia nasema hivi Now Job Alipigwa Na mambo ambao ili, ilikuwa inaitajika akobolewe kwake. Now, vitu vyake zikaisha, zikaisha, mapigo inafuatana. Pigo baada ya pigo. Lakini Bible inasema katika Job chapter 1 verse 20. Dipo ayubu akainuka, akairarua joho rake, kisha kanyoa kichwa chake na kuanguka chini na kusujudu akisema mimi nitoka tuboni mwa mama yangu nili uchi na mimi nitarudi tena huko uchi vile vile bwana alitoa bwana ametoa bwana alitoa na bwana ametoa jina la bwana nalibarikiwe Katika mambo hayo yote. Ayubu hakufanya dhambi. Wara haku muanzia mungu kwa bubafu. One thing that you just cause God to come and akuwakua na mambo. Is ni katika mambo hayo yote abo mepitia. You have kept your ways before God. God will just rescue you. Kwa watu upeda sana mungu wa ingiria mambo. Lakini katikati ya hali. Ulichafuka mdombo. Akili yako ulimuazia mungu vipaya. Ulikasirika. Ukaongea kana kwamba we si kama mtu ambayo. Ako. Sometime ata tunaongea ni kama tuna akili. But kama ayubu alipitia such level of crisis. Bible says katika mambo haya. Gani? Gamia, buzi, watoto, shida, magonjo haya. Kuna kitu kimonja, this man was very careful. He never sinned. Na hakuruhusu 
hakuruhusu hakuruhusu akili yake iwe na mawazo machafu may god cause us to know the secret hii itavuta mungu itamvuta itamvuta popoto takua itamvuta that's why ukimwangalia mtu kama daniel alipotupwa katika shimba ambao ilikuwa na uh, shimo ambao ilikuwa na, na shiba ambao wako na jaa sana ukiangalia vile danieli alinena katika danieli sita danieli sita haya na mfame uh, alipo muweka katika uh, hiyo shimo la siba akasema ametoa amri eh alikuwa ametoa amri yule hata sujudu sanamu atupe huku atupe huku wakati waliele kumangalia Daniel walipata si hata hana shukri na yeye ukiangalia Daniel chapter 6 verse 21 dipo Danieli akamwambia mfalme mfalme ishi milele verse 22 Mungu wangu amemtuma malaika wake naye amefumba makanwa ya shiba nao hawakunidhuru kwa kuwa mimi bere zake mimi nilionekana kuwa sina hatia tena bere yako emfalme sikukosa neno i kept the ways of god amen hata kama there is a need for prayer lakini ukiangalia siri kubwa ya Mungu kuokoa maisha ya Danieli sio tu kuoga peke yake is the way David Daniel kept the ways of God asema wewe mfalme have an answer to what you see amen mfalme what you see i can answer you the god i serve ali tuma malaika wakafumba vinywa wako na jaa lakini vinywa vyao about the great dingam nikura ulinituma wanikule lakini kile kigen nikura kilishikwa god said that need to handle the mouth the mouths were handled yenye wako na jaa na nyama yangu ni nzuri sana wangekura hii na wako na jaa kweli but god could not allow them God could not allow them. Sio tu kwa sababu ninaomba, ni kwa sababu ya mamawili. Bila ya huyo Mungu sina hatia. Na wewe hata wewe mfaume, ongea ukweli, bere yako sikukosea. And because of that, hallelujah, heaven iliingilia. Kuna wakati bingu itaingilia because of the way you walk. Not just prayer. Kuna watu hujichafua vyovyo. Vyo wakati ulijaribiwa ulijichafua wakati ulijaribiwa fungu la kumi likula wakati Mungu alihitaji heshima ulimwaibisha tukienda Kagudo Road labda huku ja ibada siku hiyo ma ya ugekuja wabie bwana i'm here now nitumie wakati tulikuwa kesha ulilala ulienda kuona movies wakati umetupwa katika shimo na shiba wataka Jehovah kuheshimu There are things kulingana justice of God cannot happen. You need to keep his ways. Hallelujah. Amen. Unajua kuna jamaa anaitwa Hezekiah. Hezekiah alikuwa mfalme wa Juda. Nabi Isaya akaabua, "Endo waambie Hezekiah ajipange na nyumba yake kwa maana atakufa." Ni nini nilimuokoa? The ways. Alipiduka akaangalia ukuta akaambia Jehova kubuka niliingia katika juda wakati hekaro ilikuwa imechafuka nikarejesha niliingia katika inchi wakati makuhani walikuwa wameacha huduma nikawarejesha niliingia inchi wakati kulikuwa kumejaa sanamu kwa milima na katika nyumba za watu nimeziondoa bwana isaya kaabua rudi muambie nimemuogeza miaka 15 hiyo ya kuongeza ni kwa sababu ya mema aliyotenda jia zangu alizolinda haleluya 
Can you imagine mudomo wa mugu umesema utakufa? Mudomo. Hi, wa mugu. Na mugu dia na, na uwaga watu. Na, 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 na the same mouth. Inasema, we, nime kuongeza siku gabi? 15. The same mouth. Ha, ye, ye, ye. Siku sababu wa teja brigine, wabia God, usisahau. One, two, three. Na akawa si mabu anajiwekelea ni ukweli. Let me, the way munaka kwa ikanisa. The way, the way you take God seriously. That's one of the issues that you cause God to bring what we call a point of rescue. A point of rescue. Amen. Sazigine tunatambika na kazi ya mungu na hatuchoki. Unakuta, ni kwa naambia mtu kuna wakati ni toka kanisani hapa, satisa usiku, satadi. Kazi likuwa nyingi sana, ni kaenda tu, ni kaoga, ni kaja ibada. Hello, bless God. Ui, ui. Kuna kata tulishuka tuli dege airport, saa saba na nusu. Ni kaja hapa, ni kaagalia mjengo, ni metoka Amerika. Ni kada nyubani, ni kaoga. And six, I was preaching. We love God that level. In Jesus' name. Ukisikia tunatoa million. Let me tell the truth. Sia tuna ujaja. Unakuta nimefagia account yangu imepaki minus something. We, you love God so much. Na inapotoa, ninajua, kizima kimetoa million, buwana atafanya kichupuke tena. And that's how God bless us. We are not blessed by keeping money away from God. We are blessed by giving money to God away from other things. No, people keep money away from God. We, we keep money away from other things. Watu kama sisi tumesimamisha miradi yote ya family. Paka huwa mungu timie. Anything I get, God, I want nataka kwanza utukuke. I know the secret. Hakuna ujaja kwa unabiwa. Mwatu na ujaja. And God does things. Hallelujah. And that's why God can bless you. Ni vizuri kuheshimu mungu. Iyo heshima diyo badae. Hufuata wewe wakati unaitaji to be rescued. Iyo diyo heshima ambao mungu atafusababisha all men and women to know wakati hawa kuelewi. Kuna siri hii ya heshima ya mungu. Sometime watu ufikiri tu merara kwa kesha, wewe merara kwa blanketu, merara kwa kesha, unafikiri hakuna kitu kinaendelea. Just watch. We don't do these things. Iweze kani ni rare kwa kesha ni kiomba. Wewe rare kwa blanketi. Na iwe kwa ba mugu wa haki. Atatenda the same. Ah, pana. God is righteous and just. Amen. I know a yesu. Nipata kama milioni bili. Pana, hii milioni bili. Natoa 200,000 tithe. The last. Napereka kagudo road. Wewe ulipokea. Ukadunua gari. Mine ipokea ni kasema kwanza. Hiyo. Na kuambia kuna mahali tafika. Si wezi ya ni tatukuka zaidi. Si tabunua gari ya. The other day ni ambia muntu na ataka Lexus. Lexus. Is very costly. Aka niambia bishop. Iyo gari na kujua kasema. Ata. Aka niambia bishop ni meona billionaire. Anera mika kuhusu Lexus. Ani wata kuniambia mimi, mimi ni kochini, if bilionea za, ni kambia, no, 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 ni maitamani. Siyo pesa ni konai, I just, sometimes you just say it, and God, God mikwi. We, utahitaji heshimu wa mungu pahali. Hii maisha inahitaji mungu wa kuheshimu. Pahali. Nawe, ipande, utaivuna. Na hiyo ni jia moja, God will rescue your life. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Kikikini kitafanya ufike point of rescue inaitua prophetic connection. Nimeunganika na unabi, na ofisi ya unabi. 
<laughs> Nilikuwa naambia watu that sabesh. Kuna mtu mmoja wa kanisa letu walikutana na mtu wao na anakaa bali. You know some people you can't think about it. Na anamwambia openly. Anamwambia, "Haya, ngani wito? Unajua fulani alikufa. Mm, na fulani alikufa eh. Na fulani alikufa eh. Hata mama yako eh. Na unajua hata nyinyi mgeenda." Ni vile tu mko kwa hiyo kanisa ni vile tu mko kwa hiyo mtu anaitwa katimo huyu mtu na na mko chini ya huyu mtu anaitwa katimo huyu mtu huyu mtu hiyo ah it's okay it's okay I'm oh, nini akasema mko chini ya anointing ya huyu mhubiri and then you know what she was saying actually that the person who was saying that is a woman who is a witch na ni anti yake na na hesabu kuwa 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 nasema na nyinyi we missed you because of where you fellowship i don't know nina nikisema hawa mambo ninasikia niko na shida kwa maana you don't understand what that means watu wengine hapa hiyo ni siri kubwa sana ya kanisa kama anti ya watu who is a witch aza huwa watu na ashidwe kuwa watu walio chini ya anointing ambao Mungu amenimwagia and it's in this church you need to discover what, how things work na usipojua nikiona mtu mimi nimesema twende kesha huji tuamini hivi i wonder in a, katika ulimwengu wa roho you don't know what is happening because anointing covers and anointing produces but inahitaji mtu mwingine anje hapa awaelezee mliona wana mchungaji alikuja first service the other day is a bishop did you notice alipomaliza kuhubiri bandara ya kufanya otako alipika magoti hapa did you know what that meant Ainiambia leta. Hako amekuja kuhubiri. Alikuwa amekuja kupata anointing ya mahali na hubilia. Do you know the secret? Au unaketi tu kanisani na unaenda? Bwana ainuliwe. Prophetic connection. Kijana niwaambia alienda akadaganywa akatoka kanisa akajiunga na kikudi akajipata ameingia kwa covenant za satanist na akawa wameenda under the sea na akawa ni siku yake ya kufanywa awe awe initiated I tell you they mentioned the altar we have akaabwa wewe damu yako ni chungu sana Mchungaji alipokupokea ukiwa mtoto he dedicated you to the other one they don't say Christ they say to the other one we cannot remove you from there and the boy came back saying wamesema siwezi tolewa mahali as covered niweka aliponiombea nikiwa mtoto that's why wanawaambia watoto wetu hata kama wako wapi lazima watarudi kwa mafuta the other day karibu ndio machozi tu watoto wawili wazazi wao hawakuelewa siri ya kanisa but yet that's what happened but the two a boy and a girl came to the office tripona it was a deep deep fellowship said bishop you are our father we have come back i said god bego ya imani bego tulio I know these are people I dedicated. Satan and Kotak, he cannot get them. I wakienda. Yo how? There's a girl who came nam toto, kapia bishop. Nidaganyika. Now nam toto. Like in bishop. 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 Usiniamuru ni ende. Ava ni kufia huko. Kambi how do you want? 
Bishop, I can't manage. To the young girl, I'm praying for you. The Lord is powerful. Prophetic connection. That's why, okay, the second Kings chapter 3 verse 14. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 14. Let's go there very quickly. Kitabu cha wafraume wa pili. Aya tatu. Sura ya tatu. Aya ya kumi na monja. Second Kings chapter 3. Verse 11. Inasema hivi. Second Kings. Sorry. Second Kings is okay. I hope you are there by God's grace. Now, how about now? Get kuhusu wakati wa vita. Wakati wa vita. Na ilikuwa vita ya kupiga Moab. Na kukawa inchi ya Israel. Na inchi ya Judah. Na inchi ya Edom. If you check verse 9, say, So the king of Israel went with the king of Judah and the king of Edom. Three. Na wakatembea how many days? Seven days. And there was no water for the army, nor for animals that followed them. Now, this is a coalition in Jitatu. Judah, which other one? Israel, which other one? At the Bethel. Edom. What you end up, Migu, how many days? Seven days. What you end up, Kupika in Chigani? None, what you call Marinukia? Yeah, Moab. What you pop, Marisa is a Siku. Can you imagine? Hakukua Maji. The whole army was dehydrated. Farasi Zikaguka. Hakuna Maja Kukunwa. Mwanajeshi ata akura kufuna mnangani, they all fainted. And the king of Israel, mujue kuna tafauti ya Israel na Judah, Israel, akasema, inaonekana mugu wa metureta hivi tu dia tupeane kwa maandui. But there's another king. You know there was king of Israel? King of Judah. And which other king? King of Edom. Wa Israel, alisema, Jehovah, Ametuleta hivi, atu wagamize. Kwa mana haku wana prophetic connection. Jehoshaphat! Jehoshaphat! Can you check your Bible? Verse 11, I say manje, Is there no prophet of God here that we may inquire of the Lord by him? In other words, I cannot give up until the prophet Say something from God. Prophetic connection can rescue you. I say it can rescue you. It can rescue you. Hallelujah! Jameni hakuna maji. Hakuna. It's dry completely. Jeshi ni miaguka all over. No water. Dehydrated. Farasi wananguka. Kuna yule mutu. Akiona maafa kama haya. They just give up and give in. Kuna wana sema, uh -uh. before anything else, is there no voice of God? Is there no prophet of the living God? Atwa bie bingu inasema nini? We cannot give up until the throne, mahali serikali, makao maku ya serikali ya uhaiwangu, where the seat of God is, we must hear from our head the quarter before we make conclusion. Before to say me, hakuna pesa, let God speak. Before to say me, where's the quarter millionaire? Can you ask God? Never give up. I say never give up. I say never give up. My God, I pray all of you, Ukisikia, you are giving up. Stay on your knees. I'll be a buana. I want prophetic connection. I can't give up until the seat of God speaks. I 
cannot conclude sitasema ate mtoto wangu hata ya university mpaka network ya Mungu ninamtumikia iseme hivyo i am not giving up i am not giving up i am not giving up with your my children hata kama wamevuta bagi wamekunywa nini i am not giving up shetani umenipiga moyo na mambo ya kunishusha but i am like jehoshaphat I'm saying is there no voice from heaven? Amen. Hallelujah. Akaba yes is a prophet aloud. Anaitwa nani? Elisha. Elisha gani? Aliyekuwa anamiminia Elijah maji kwa mkono. Huyo yeye mwambieni akuje. Mm. Elisha alipokuja Bible nasema kwamba alisemaje? akasema leteni mucheza kinada inaitwa holy ghost worship the church requires not just worship but holy ghost worship holy ghost worship is kind of worship ambao watu wakiiba karama ya unabii na chipuka mafuta ya unabii na chipuka watu wanaanza kusikia haya kube kuna njia somewhere mtu aliyekuwa afuge biashara ski i i sense god is raising me again it it brings prophetic sensation it brings prophetic sensitivity unasikia ulikuwa karibu kuvuja doa yako lakini unasikia oh my god si vuji something just come around you in that prophetic connection is a kind of worship holy ghost worship ambao wakati ulikuwa nasema mimi nikitoka hapa sio nitaenda wapi kwa sababu lord lord hiyo ikija unaanza kusikia the lord hata kama sijui sana he's making a way somewhere inaitwa prophetic connection holy ghost worship that brings prophetic connection even before usikia sauti unasikia tu kuna njia pahali eh zile nyumba zako zina watu Unasikia tu God is I sense God is bringing people. Let any mucheza kinanda. Akaletwa. Jamaa kacheza worship. Alipocheza worship Bible says hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says but now verse 15 bring me a musician. Then it happened when musician played the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha I pray that that how worship will be and he said thus says the Lord make this valley full of ditches fanyeni hi vary bode linjae mashimo space ya maji mchibe kabisa haya sometimes god is so great kwamba wakati huu na pesa anakuambia ushone mifuko kuweka pesa wakati mwanamke ule the widow katika second kings chapter 4 aliabaje kwanza tafuta empty containers can you imagine bwana kuambia before akwambia what to do ana anakuambia tafuta duka kubwa ha hallelujah hallelujah kitabu bwana kuambia hivyo tafanya na kuambia enda uapply kazi coca cola kenya limited apply before akwambia anakuambia anakuambia ufanye kitu ambacho kitauda service area of the miracle kwa maana jehova anasema itegenezeni njia kuu katika jangwa katika isaya 40 verse 2 make ye a highway for god in the desert mahali ambapo hakuna uhai kwanza mtegezee njia make a highway for god in the wilderness and god says some of us in katika isaiah chapter 40 verse 2 inasema hivi every valley shall be lifted every mountain and hill shall be made low every crooked path will be made straight every rough place will be made smooth and behold the glory of the lord shall be revealed 
and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Kira bonde litainuliwa. Kira mulima na kilima zitashushwa. Bahari ya mopa metotoka patasawishwa. Bahari ya mopa panakwarusha patakuwa smooth. Na utukufu wa mungu utafunuliwa na wote wenye mwili watawona. Kwa sababu mundomo wabona umenena haya. Brothers and sisters in the Lord. The Lord is so power. Prophetic connection. Hakuna mtu hayazi pata yu hapa. Right now as I speak, God can do it right now, right now, right now. Right now, just be open to God. Weka yu ilia yako ilio kauka. Weka yu ilia yako uko desperate. Weka yu ilia yako, weka yu mfuko wako huna pesa. God, tell God, God, this, my God, good, I want to do something for the kingdom. God, you raise you. Now, who has a magic? Uh, that is the the, 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 the prophet. Make ditches. And God says, verse 17, can you imagine? Did that. Second Kings chapter 3, verse 17. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see the weed. Hakuta kuwa na upepo. You shall not see rain. Hakuta kuwa na mvua. That's how God works. But the valley shall be filled with water. Kai. Oi. Ah, Kai. I, 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 I pray that you wait for God. Don't wait for rain. Wait for God. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you imagine? Usi goje mvua, goje mungu. You know, God says, hakuta kuwa na upepo, na hakuta kuwa na mvua, lakini ibode, nitajia maji. God is so powerful. Prophetic connection. Prophetic connection. Prophetic connection. God is able. This new we, mungu atakosa jia. Inajia project yetu, some people ambao mungu anainua, si jawa ya sikia. A doctor called me from Canada. I am bishop. Honejui, but I have been following you. I want to partner, and I want to raise other partners, doctors. You know, it's okay, it's okay. Let's throw together. You know why? There's no way God will always move. In Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah. Now, what happened? Just let's finish by seeing what, what happened. Bible says, Hallelujah. Ha, amen. Mm -hmm. Bible says, Now it happened in the morning, verse 20, when the grain offering was offered, that suddenly water came by way of Edom. And the Lord was filled with water. And no more bites. Now, yeah, yeah, how God works. And when all more bites heard that kings, the kings had come up to fight against them, all who were able to bear arms and order were gathered. And they stood on the border. The uh, Bible says, what happened? They rose early in the morning and the sun was shining on the water. And Moabites saw the water on the other side as red as blood. God caused them to see that. And they said, this is the blood of kings. This is blood. The kings have surely struck sword and have killed one another. Now therefore, Moab to be... You see what happens? God has mechanism. How jama majiri otoka maandui wakaona kana kwamba iyo majini damu na wakaanza mawazo mengine na wakaanza kupigwa ata bila kuguzwa. God, God said there will be no weed, no rain. But this valley and these ditches will be full of water. Na walikunywa na wakawa tayari na walishida hii vita kabisa. I say don't give up. Let God speak. Nasema usue haraka kufunga hiyo mambo. Usue haraka ku conclude. Hali iliyo kupiga hakika inakunenea opposite. Lakini bigu yaweza leta maji 
bila upepo au mvua kama ni Mungu ataongea Jesus bless this church Jesus bless this church Hallelujah Bwana asifiwe Ni kama wakati Elisha alija kulikuwa na jaa Israel utaona Mungu anamtokea katika first kings i'm finishing now because of time first kings 17 verse 9 first kings 17 verse 9 wafalme wa kwanza sura ya 17 aya 9 bible inasema hivi neno la bwana likanijia kusema odoka uende salepta ulio muji wa sidon Ukae huko. Tazama nimemwagiza mwanamke mjane wa huko akulishe. Kijito kimekauka. Kunguru aliyekuwa natumwa kuleta mkate na nyama haji tena. But a prophetic connection gives way. Oh Elijah, don't worry. I have commanded somewhere else. Na huku utakura na utaishi. Don't give up. Let God tell you where else he has commanded your money. Ukiagalia maisha ya Elijah, God used the word I have commanded. I have commanded. Ya kwa sama, ni meamuru kunguru wakulete nyama. Edoka ya hapo. Wameodoka, ya hawaji, toka. Ni meamuru monamuke mjane salefta kule akulishe. Na hata ya kiondoka, ni taamuru kuingine. There's no way a prophetic connected person will fail. And today, kwa upako wa buwana, na kubadisha yu akiri na nafsi yako. Ata kama hakuna mvua, na hakuna upepo, buwana nasema kutakuikuwa na maji. Ata kama hakuna mtu na kupenda, buwana nasema you shall be great. Ata kama wewe ni kama Sarah na Abraham. Bwana nasema you shall multiply. No kijaribu kusema otherwise. Bwana kwa bia hakuna otherwise ni hivyo. Katika Genesis 15, Abraham alisema mimi ninaenda zagu. I'm dying. Muke wangu the same na ni balen. Na akasema maybe Eliza my servant utamtumia. Aka bwana no way. Mwenye ah, he, he, he. Mutoto ni naongea juu yake Atatoka kwa mwili wako huo mezeeka hivyo Na mwili wa muke wako huo nasema ati ni mze You shall produce Bible say iyo jabu likuwa gumu kwa Abraham But Bible says akari kupari kwa mani mungu wa meongea Na ebuana haka muhesabia haki Kuhesabiwa haki ni kupokewa na mungu kama mwenye haki Ni buwana kukukubari kama mtu ambaye mutatebea nae Let me explain this There God can tell you kitu kigumu sana Kinapita akili zako The more utaamini Mugu atakuwa point Ukiwa wewe Diyo tatembea na yeye Kwa hilo jabu umeamini Ezekia alipo abiwa Atabirie Alipo urizwa Mifupa ya weza kuwa watu Akasema God you know Alipo kubari mugu anajua Alihesabiwa haki Yani God makes you a partner In what you want to do Amen. Amen. Like now, Kisema, Ukikubali, you can raise millions for the project. God, you make you a partner in the project. That's how God raises people. Wa ubiri wengine, kama moja America, kona dege moja biri, nisikia the other day, anaita mubea mabia, chukua yo dege. Alianza na kuitikia a mighty, mighty move of God, abaili kuwa ata hayeleweki. Aliuza nyumba yake, akauza magari, akabaki bila. Ili apande kanisani. Now he owns Aeropress, the most richest preacher. Can you imagine? Anachukua moja asema, nime kudonetia hiyo. Dega ya kalibu billion. Na, pesa nye, ni kubwa. And God can do that to you, friends. Kubuka tuasema, point of rescue. Mahali utaitaji buwana aingilie. Tutaendrea another day. Yoni pati tuya the message. Let's start for prayer. 
Baba wa binguni, tunakupenda, tunakuheshimu. Wewe uko hai. Wewe uko hai. Wewe unanena. Wewe unaamuru. Ulisema kuwe na nuru na nuru ikawa. Ukasema kuwe na jua, jua ikatokea. Ukasema kuwe na wanyama wakila aina wakatokea. Ukasema kuwe na miti ikatokea na ikakupendeza. Even today, you are still releasing command. Unasema jabu kuhusu ugonjwa. Ugonjwa unapi. Unanena jabu kuhusu mtoto wa mtu. Na mtoto anakotolewa. Unaongea kuhusu mtu asiye saa na anasa. Unaongea kuhusu ugonjwa ambao ulikuwa umepeleka mtu wa ICU na unamtoa huko. E bwana wa mabwana, wili masheta baka. Sema neno na mtumishi wako ataishi. Sema neno na wadada wa ikanisa watafauru. Sema neno na vijana wa ikanisa watainuka. Sema neno la amri na wazee hao watatajirika. Jirasimisha kwa bana. Just raise your hands now to God. Surrender to his power. Tarete ke masika tapasota. Shekerereba. Shina mi kataraboso. Shekete ke posota. Shaka tapasota rikema. Rikerererema. Maka tapasota rike posota. Shindi mi kakosa karababo. Shekerereba kata. Maikata kasoto rika bosaya. Shendedeba kosa kina makanda. Shakota bigni kiataya. Shoka tapasa katarabosa. Miki kakosoto riba boshanda. We we worship you king of kings we worship you lord of lords we give you praise for who you are we give you praise for who you are we give you praise for who you are we thank you we thank you hallelujah shana mazekete kene masaka wapendwa when i was praying when i was praying Na bwana kanza kuniambia ninenea kanisa kuhusu point of rescue. Niliona bwana akiokoa watu wa kanisa kutoka kwa hatari hatari nyingi. I saw God rescue families. I saw God rescue businesses. I saw God rescue our youth. I saw God rescuing. Niliona Mungu ameingilia mahali hatari likuwe mepangwa. Akizuia ikanisa ingie, akizuia watu na dada waingie na akatuokoa kwa hatari. Haraba babo shekataba. Oh my God, I give you praise. Oh my God, I give you praise. 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 Oh my God, I worship you. Wapendo hamuta agamia. Hamuta inge yo mashimo. Hamuta ingia kwa hiyo kifo. Hauta shukuzwa. Hauta ocha katapa. I've seen the heart of God rescue our members, rescue our partners, rescue our children, rescue. O mataba si kenema ni ke kosota bi ke sanda. Mafuliko iritokea, lakini hamuku agamia. God rescued you all. Mota basha karara babo Mwambi ya bwani ya sante na ojisalimishe kwake Fanya agano na mungu muambie Hauta muaibisha Hauta tenda maovu Bwana meona viema akuheshimu Bwana meona viema atukuke Bwana meona viema aokoe Bwana meona viema tuifadhi Popote kulipago hatari Katika family Katika watoto wetu Katika biashara zetu Katika uhai wetu Katika safari zetu I have seen the mighty heart of God at work And God said There is point of rescue He will not allow you to perish 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen now. Nasimama beleza buwana. Mungu wa haki na wakweli. Na wanenea kutoka kwa kinywa cha buwana. Buwana ameniambia. Ameweka point of rescue. Kwa ajili yetu wote hapa. Hamtaenda vile watu walisema na kuna tangazwa na shetani alikuwa anapanga My Jesus the Lord of Lords is awake for this church and the vision we have He is raising us raising us raising us Na kuna mahali tutafika I say kuna mahali tutafika is only God who you understand us. It's only God who you understand us. People you not understand us. Devil you not understand us. It's only God who you understand us. Na maya geta kutujua. Aurise mungu atamuambia. For God is raising us. For his glory. Na hiyo diyo sauti ya bwana. Pokeeni ulizi wadami ya yesu. Pokeeni ya mami. Pokeni maisha malefu. Weza kuwa uko hapa. Na huja okoka. Umefungwa na dhambi fulani. 